What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how I made the Boba Fett hologram on the loom pad. Let me see if you guys can see that hologram there. There you go. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is the MVN software right here. As you can see, I have my mocap right here. I'm just gonna do one so you guys can see it. So I'll walk over to the chair. Actually, that's me walking over, but you can see me walking over to the chair like so. And then he's just looking around, puts his arm on a chair, leans forward a little bit, looks around, and that's that. So let's say I don't want to export all these frames out. What I'm going to do is just actually find where I want my start. So I'm just left clicking and dragging all the way over like so until I get to a spot that I like. So let's say I want to end right there around when I do the finger snap something like that so my next step from here i'm actually want to do some hd processing which i've already done but if you haven't done any hd processing on your mocap you would come over here where it says reprocessing mvn file click on these little gears here and then right here i'm going to do hd quality hd slow you could do fast but if you do slow it's going to give you better results at the end and then you would just hit start processing like so and you would let it calculate through Okay, so now say that you're ready to export everything out. I have my selection here in dark blue. I would just come over here to file, come down here to export, export selection, saving it to my desktop, nothing too crazy. Show options, overwrite first frame with the T pose. I'm gonna leave that on and then walk on the spot. I'm gonna leave that off because I wanna have my character actually moving within the scene, not just in a steady position at your zero axis there. Then you just click export. It's saying that my file is not HD processed, which that's going to take a little bit there, but that's basically the steps that you need to do to get your stuff out once your stuff is HD processed. So now I have all my motion capture data complete. It's HD processed within the XNS software there. Now what I'm going to do is take that FBX file into Cinema 4D so I can combine my Boba Fett model with my motion capture data. So as you can see here, I'm using Cinema 4D version S26 and I have this Boba Fett model that I actually got off of Sketchfab there and I already went to Mixamo to rig them up. And if you want to see how to rig your characters with Mixamo, I actually do have a tutorial on my channel, which I'll be doing an updated one but for now you can use the one that i did in the past and so it's a really simple setup here i have a mixamo skeleton here and what i want to do now is actually bring in some of the mocap data on the boba fat here so what i'm going to do first is i'm actually going to select these i'm going to come over to objects and i'm going to group my object and i'm going to just name this one boba and then i'm actually going to copy it because i just like working in a brand new file so i'm just going to start a new file like so and just gonna paste them in here. Gonna bring over all the textures and we should be good to go. So there we go, we have Boba Fett. He's in a new scene and everything. So what I'm gonna do now is actually get the FBX data that I got from my XN suit and drag that into Cinema 4D here. So I'm inside of my file explorer, as you can see, and I'm just gonna take maybe this one right here, Boba Fett 3, click and drag it into Cinema 4D click OK and give us a second to process the mocap data. And there we go. So you can see I have my motion capture data. If I click play, scroll back a little bit, you can see I have my skeletal mesh just walking over to the right. It's going to do auto movements that you saw me do on the previous video there, like so. So it looks like everything came in pretty nicely. So what I'm going to do again, I'm actually just going to select this, come over to object, come down to group, and I'm just going to name this one mocap. And then I'm going to edit, copy, and then I'm going to go back to my brand new file here, hit edit and paste. So now we have my Boba Fett model here and I have my mocap model here. They're both in the T pose. They're different sizes, but that doesn't matter. All I'm going to be doing is pulling the information off the joints from my motion capture data onto my character. And so to do that, I'm actually going to click on Boba here, come over to tags, come down to rigging tags. And right here where it says character definition, I want to select this and then I want to come over here to where it says open manager and this is going to pull up this configuration box that says character definition and it's as easy as just hitting extract skeleton and you can see it brought all the joints into where it needs to be which is super simple that's why I like using the Mixamo skeleton because it extracts everything really easily you can use your own skeletal mesh or different other skeletal meshes if you want but sometimes it doesn't extract all the data and so you can easily go through select the joints and drag them where they need to be but with Mixamo it picks everything up right away so I'm actually going to exit this out and do the same thing now for the mocap data 
So I'm going to come over to tags, come down to rigging, character definition, same thing, open manager, extract skeleton like so, and it's extracted everything, which is cool because this is the data from Xsans and they extracted all the skeletal information as well. So it's as easy as that. We don't have to do any manual dragging of the joints and putting them where they need to be. Everything is just extracted. So I'm going to exit this out. And now right here under Boba, I'm actually going to click on that little character that you see here, and I'm actually going to create solver. So now it's as easy as taking a one from your mocap data, just clicking this left click and drag it right here where it says character source. And now it's actually going to take on that mocap data. So I'm going to actually hold down the alt key, select this. So this disappears. And I'm going to do the same thing to my Mixamo skeleton, hold down the left alt button on my keyboard, left click twice. And that's going to make that disappear as well. Now, if I click play, you can see I have Boba Fett actually walking and you could do some cleanup. He has, you know, my arm is going through there. I didn't compensate for that, but you can easily do cleanup on here if you want. I like doing cleanup inside of Unreal Engine. It's just simpler, but there we go. So we have our motion data in here. And so now that we have everything that we want it to be inside of Cinema 4D, the next step from here is to bring it into Unreal Engine, which is as easy as just selecting it, exporting it out at FBX and bringing it into Unreal, which I'll show you now. So I'm actually going to click right here where it says Boba. I'm going to go all the way to the beginning, come over to file, come down to export, and I'm going to export FBX like so. So I'm just going to do FBX 2019, which is the latest and greatest as of now. You want to make sure for animation, you have track selected right there, bake all my materials and everything, and everything else is as so. And you also want to make sure you have selection only because I have Boba selected. I don't want to bring in the other mocap data. I just want to bake these keyframes out with this character, and then I can easily bring it into Unreal Engine. So now that I have that, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to name this one Boba Tutorial because I already had done this previously. So just click save and there we go. So it's already exported out. So the next step from here, I'm going to bring Boba Fat into Unreal Engine 5. I'll show you how you can import it and easily bring that motion capture data into the sequencer. All right, so I have Unreal Engine 5.01 opened up right now. As you can see, this is actually my final scene. I'll just click play for you guys here so you can see how everything kind of played out. But then I'll show you guys how we bring Bubba Fat into Unreal Engine and maybe even do a little bit of cleanup. Because as you can see right here, my hand is actually not going through the pouch anymore. And I actually did that cleanup all here within Unreal Engine. So that's basically it, you know, leaning down on my jetpack there and everything just moving around a little bit. So let me actually show you guys from scratch how we can accomplish this. So I'm gonna come over here to my content browser and I'm just gonna actually start a new level and just name this one tutorial, double click on it, select or save. And now we have a blank scene here. So first what I wanna do, I'm actually just gonna bring in some lights real quick so that we can actually see some stuff here. So I'm gonna come up here to window and come right here where it says environmental light mixture. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to start adding some stuff here. So create sky atmosphere, atmospheric light, and that should be actually I could create height fog. There we go. And maybe let's even add a plane. And I just wanted to do this so we could see our character in here and everything. So maybe just add a plane, have it at direct center, double click on it. And there we go. I can actually probably make this a little bit larger as well. So come right here, like around 10, something like that. So now what I want to do, I'm actually going to come down here and make a new folder. And I'm going to name this one Boba Tutorial. And I'm going to bring that FBX file into here. So it's as easy as going to my Windows Explorer. And I'm going to select this one right here, which is Boba Tutorial. Select and drag that into here. And then that's going to bring up FBX import options in which the ones that I really want to have selected is right here where it says animation. You wanna make sure you hit import animation, exported time, and that should be it for there. We don't wanna miss with anything else. So I'm just gonna click import all. There we go. We're gonna have this message log, which I can exit that. I'm gonna exit my file explorer, make this large again. And now you can see I have my Boba Fett character down here in which I wanna select this one. This is skeletal mesh. I'm just gonna click and drag that into the scene here. So now you see we have Boba Fat in here. I can make him at 
zero axis there. And now from here, what we want to do is we want to add a sequencer so that we can bring in the motion capture data and have it play out here inside the viewport. And so to do that right here where you see the clipboard, I'm just going to select this down arrow, add level sequence, and I'll just leave it right here where it says new level sequence. Just click save. And then from here, I'm going to come over here to my outliner. And I'm actually going to look for my character, which is like a little skeleton here. So you want to make sure you select this left click, bring it in like so and there we go so now i have my character inside my sequencer but if i move it left and right it's not moving so you want to make sure that you're on frame zero and right here where it says animation i want to select this and then you can see that we have our animation fbx data that we brought over from cinema 4d so if you exported a couple of different fbx's you can actually use this to select whatever you want but we only exported out one and so i'm just going to select this one right here and you can see that it actually made my character axis go crazy. I'm not exactly sure why it does this. I've tried several different options to import it, but you just have to manually fix that. So I'm just going to select Boba right here. Rotation, I believe it's 90. Now if I play it, there we go. Now he's where he's supposed to be. We can actually move him up a little bit like so. There you go. I'm just going to move it sideways so we can see it better. And there you go. You can see him moving there a little bit and actually let me move my endpoint out a little bit here so that we can see that our arm was actually dragging through the side here still. So there we go. So now you see his arm is actually going through the pouch. And so to be able to fix this, actually what I want to do is come back to the beginning, select my character here and right here where it says edit with FK control rig, I want to select this. And then I'm just going to click create. And once we did that, now you can see that it put Boba Fat into a T pose and which from here we can actually select the different joint points and add keyframes to it. And so before we do that, make sure you're on frame zero and right here where it says FK control rig, you want to click additive and that's going to add an extra track here. So now if I scroll forward and let's say I want to move like this out or this shoulder joint at the very beginning, I can select this and I have my rotation tool selected here as well. And I can actually hit S on my keyboard to make a keyframe here. I'm actually going to drag this out a little bit and then maybe move it forward a little bit and let's move it out like so. Hit S again. And now you can see it moved it out at that point there. And so let's say I want to do it at the very beginning, maybe. So right here, let's move it out, make a keyframe again, hit S on my keyboard. And now you can see that it moved it out and this is where you know it gets a little bit tricky and so you would just have to come in here manually clean it up like so and this is just a quick and easy way on how to do it but if i scroll in here a little bit like so so now you can see my arm is not hitting through or well, right there it is so i'll just move it out again hit s on my keyboard and now you can see he's actually not hitting the, the little pouch there and everything so usually you want to be able to compensate for this during your mocap. I didn't really go back and think about having like a pouch there and everything. So I just had my arms to my side, but this is all stuff that you want to be leery about whenever you do a motion capture. If your character has like a utility belt on or a backpack or something that's going to be extruding out, make sure you do that inside the motion capture or else you have to go in here and do some manual cleanup on there. But it's not too hard, just a little bit tedious. And so I'm not going to go through everything that I did there, but that's just a basic setup on how you could do some cleanup there. Okay, so I walked you through the steps on how I did the motion capture, how I brought it into Unreal Engine. I have my scene here, as you see inside of Unreal Engine 5. I built this using Mega Scans, nothing too crazy. I got the throne, I think off of like Sketchfab, brought that into Cinema, did some texturing, brought it into Unreal. And so I have my environment and everything in here all set up. And so once I was done with everything, it was easy as coming over here to the clipboard. You just set up your render. I do have a tutorial on how to render out of Cinema 4D as well. So I'm not going to go through all those steps. And then once I was done with my render and everything, the next step from here is I wanted to use the light fill program that comes from LoomPad to be able to convert this into stereoscopic 3D for use in a LoomPad that will actually extract out the depth data and everything. So this program here, you can download absolutely free. I'll leave a link down inside the comments below, but this is called Lightfill Studio. It's beta version 1.2. 
And so you have different options here, but like you could bring in 2D content to extract. You could bring in stereo content to converge. So what I'm gonna do, since I just did a standard render out of Unreal Engine, I'm gonna use this one. It says 2D content conversion. So I'm gonna go browse file. I'm gonna look for where I have my render. So I'm gonna look for my Boba Fett hologram. Come right here under render. And I'm gonna do this one right here. Click open. And then for my output, it's going to make a file. This is two by two, Boba Fett two by two, in which this is the naming convention that we need for the loom pad. So it depends on what kind of data you have. You'll see here, once I hit start conversion, what it's going to do. But like, if you do a side by side render, then you would do like Boba Fett underscore two X one. And that's going to tell the loom pad that it's a side by side conversion. If I do it using a light field studio, it's actually going to do it in fours. And so you'll see it here in a second. Right now it's calculating out the depth information here. You can do this inside of your 3D program if you want. And there's actually documentation on how to do it. But since I wanted to show you guys how we could convert any standard 2D footage and convert it over to light field, this is the perfect way to do it. So even if you just shot something like on your camera or, you know, you had a project in the past and you wanted to be able to view it on your loom pad in 3D, this is the software that you're going to want to use to do it. But of course, you're going to get the best results if you actually do a stereo 3D render right from your 3D application. Okay, now that it's done extracting the depth data, you can actually see here what the two by two means, right? So we have four squares in here. And what this is actually going to do is extracting that depth data is putting it in quads here. And then from there, when we bring it over to the loom pad, that's what's going to give us that holographic effect once it's inside the loom pad. And so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like because this is pretty cool technology. Again, as I said, if you actually do, you know, like the proper techniques to render out a stereoscopic path out of your 3D application, you're gonna get better results. But if you don't have access or you don't know how to do it, LoomPad has you covered and you could use this technology to actually extract out a light fill video for your LoomPad. So the cool thing about doing it that way, you could turn anything into a holographic figure for your loom pad and it actually has a conversion right on the loom pad too. So if you didn't want to use that light field app on your computer, you can actually converge stuff directly here on your loom pad. Of course, you're going to get better results if you use the app on your computer. But if you're in the bind, then you can also use this right here. Hit the little loom pad icon down there and it will automatically convert your video for you. So hopefully you guys found this video interesting. Just kind of showing you the steps of what I took to make the holographic display for the loom pad using the Boba Fat inside the throne room and everything if you guys dig this type of content make sure you leave me a comment down below leave me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want me to go into like any of these steps more in depth make sure you leave me a comment so i know exactly what you guys want me to cover and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here